الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم one of the unfortunate things is that people have evil desires and to fulfill those desires they misuse the religion okay? some people they desire to not have separation between men and women they want to fulfill their desires they want men and women together but they can't say it because still till today alhamdulillah allah has put ghuraba and uh, firqa naji and stuff to keep them a little bit in check but as they try to get brave they start to mess with the religion right so what do they do is they say well in the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there was no partition between men and women so in our masjid we will have no partition between men and women oh mashallah how strict are you on the sunnah allahu akbar right in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he told the men that after salah sit and make adhkar and the women to leave first do you do that oh you forgot that one okay in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he made bab an nisa he told women you cannot go to the other bab you have to go through only one door do you do that in your masjid oh you forgot that one too okay in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Aisha radhiya said the women would come to salah and go back without being recognized are the women coming to your masjid in that type of abayat and niqab and hijab that they could come to the masjid and go back without being recognized oh you forgot that one too no problem in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he ordered the women if you put the athar if you put the perfume don't come to the masjid do you do that in your masjid or oh, you don't oh, you forgot that one too you only remember not having the separation okay In the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there was no roof. The masjid had no roof. They only had palm trees that were put to, the leaves on palm trees to keep there was no roof. Does your masjid have a roof? Oh, it does. Okay. In the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the masjid had no carpet. It had no lights. You forgot all of that. You just remember not uh, in the time of Rasulullah the masjid was very simple. But even with that simple masjid Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ensured not to have mixing of men and women by putting the men in the front by putting the women in the back by putting the children in the middle by ordering the men to sit and make adhkar the women to leave so they don't even leave at the same time by assigning a door for women separate from that of the men by saying even in the coming and, and going women should be to the side and men should be in the street in the middle so they don't mix even going and coming he ordered all of these things as checks and balances which you totally ignore just to try to fulfill your desires by saying oh we're following the sunnah hani let me see your board and who has a beard on your board let me see hani let, let's be real about it right you forgot all of that and you want to misuse something to try to justify mixing between men and women la wallah we will not let you we will expose these tricks amantu anna al-akhirah la budda yawman atiya كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية آمنت أن الآخرة لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية